Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I'm doing a inspired makeup look by the beautiful Ahura. She plays a role in Star Trek Beyond, the movie that is coming out July the 21st, and I'm so excited. Her makeup looked amazing, so I had to recreate it, so let's jump into it. Let's start with a super clean and moisturized face so we can jump straight into the eyeshadow. So I'm taking a primer for the eyes. This will also cancel out the discoloration on there as well. As you can see, I have a lot of veins, so I just want a clear canvas for the eyeshadow. Ahura's signature makeup look was really simple yet really easy to create so anyone can do this. It was like a winged liner, neutral eyes and really highlighted face. So with the eyes I'm going to start with a medium cool toned brown and this is going to be the transition shade so we're going to take this from inner corner to outer corner on a really fat fluffy brush so it can really diffuse that brown and it can just blend up nicely. With whatever's left on the brush we can sweep that over the lid but I really do want to keep that quite bare. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and clean up that eyeshadow that we um, did a bit of overblending with. Now I'm gonna take some black eyeliner. So we're gonna create a wing today. I'm just gonna take a little angled liner brush and I'm just gonna, you know, do the best wing I possibly can. I've never really been that good at wings, so I'm just trying my best. As long as you just take your time, you will get it eventually. So just doing like kind of a small wing, nothing too dramatic. Now going in with a white eyeshadow, I'm gonna put this under the eyebrow. Ahura had a really intense um, highlight under the brows, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm gonna take some strobing cream because we want the face to be extremely glowy and luminous. So just rubbing this all over my face, it feels so incredibly moisturizing as well. I love it. Now it's time for foundation, so I'm gonna even out my skin tone. I'm just applying this foundation with a flat top brush and it just applies so seamlessly. So I'm just gonna create like a medium coverage. For concealer, I'm taking a shade that is about two shades lighter than my skin tone to really highlight under the eyes and to cancel out the discoloration because girl, a horror did not have purple bags under her eyes like I do. So just blending that out with my stippling brush works magical wonders. Magical wonders? I don't know. I'm also going to go ahead and put that lighter shade of concealer in the middle of my eyebrows, on my chin and down my nose just to add a bit more dimension to the face. Now we're going to do a little bit of baking. So I'm just going to take a sponge and pack this under my eyes just because I don't want any of that concealer to budge at all. While that's baking under my eyes for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face so all the products we put over the top blend out really seamlessly. And I can't help but notice that little dot of foundation that is non-existent on my nose. Like I can see all my little freckles like, hello. Now it's time for the brows. So I'm just gonna take a shade that is the same color as my natural brows and we're gonna go ahead and fill any sparse areas in. I'm also gonna create a little bit of an arch just so we can have the same brows as a horror and then we're done with those caterpillars. Now with whatever is left on that liner brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that from the outer corner to the middle of my lower lash line just to add a little bit of definition. Now it's time to prep our lashes for falsies, so I'm going to go ahead and run some mascara through my top and bottom lashes. I really like to wiggle my mascara from side to side to get in every single crevices of every lash. So with the lower lash line, I tried to keep it very minimal as that's what Ahura had, but um, I always go overboard with my lower lash mascara, especially with this mascara because it's so good. Yes, honey, it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna take some false lashes. It's time for a dance, let's do this. So I'm just gonna pop these on. These ones are like a cat eye effect, which I love so incredibly much. These have a really thin band as well, so they go on just like that, yeah. Now it's time to contour, so I'm taking a sculpting powder and I'm just gonna put this directly under my cheekbones to really chisel out those bones, girlfriend. We're gonna make it really intense. 
Now it's time for bronzer. So Ahura had a beautiful, beautiful glow to the face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much put this everywhere, honey. So under my cheekbones, around the forehead, and also on my jawline. This is just gonna add a lot of life back into the face. A lot of like, oh, I actually went outside and got some sun, you know? Now it's time to start with the glow, which is one of the most important things of this makeup look. So I'm going to take a kind of shimmery blush and I'm just going to put this on the apples of the cheeks and blend it back. It's going to add a really nice natural flush of color as well, which is so amazing. Then of course, I'm going to go in with highlighter. So I'm going to spray my brush to make sure it's nice and damp so the highlighter is intense. This one is incredible because Ahura's highlight wasn't like shimmery. It was just really glowy and natural and just... Oh, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It was so gorgeous. So just putting this on top of my cheekbones and pretty much all over my face. Like, go in with that highlighter, girl. Now I'm going to spray my face with some Fix Plus because I really want that glow to shine through. So once that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and put some more mascara on my lashes just because I wanted them to be a tad more dramatic and I love, love the way they look. Now taking a lip pencil that is a few shades darker than my lips, I'm just going to go ahead and outline them a little bit just to define them. Then I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in very lightly. I still want my lips to look quite natural so I'm not going too heavy handed with this step. To finish off the look, I'm taking a bit of lip gloss. I'm just going to put this all over my lips for a nice sheen. And I love this product so much guys, like whoa. So there we have the Ahura inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how it turned out. I can't wait to go see Star Trek Beyond. It comes out on July the 21st. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.